Ugh, why the heck is my hair so ugly? I really need to switch out my shampoo. No. You can't make me. Maybe if I try just a little bit. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it made my hair so much better. And it dyed it pink too? Wow, gave me a nice fresh cut. All this in just three seconds of using it? I'm actually impressed. Thank you, Monet. Hi. So I figured for today's video, I would just update you on the latest MLM news. As I mentioned in my last video, when I was talking about how people use religion as a marketing tactic to join their MLM, which if you guys haven't watched that video, definitely go watch it. I'll have the link in the description. But um, as I mentioned in that video, the FTC sent out some warning letters to certain MLMs, you know, telling them that they cannot make income claims or health claims, Arbon. It works, Rodan and Fields, you know, a lot of big name MLMs were mentioned in there. So I thought I would just update you guys on what's happening in the latest multi-level marketing news. Upon those warning letters being sent, Arbon had to send out this letter or this email to all of their distributors or consultants or whatever. And this is courtesy of at X Arbon on Instagram. She's an amazing page. Definitely go follow her if you're into, you know, anti-MLM content. It's a really informative and really interesting page to follow. And I will have that in the description as well. So they have a little thing that says discover Arbon in their letter. And it says, here are some key points to focus on. If you're going to use slides for a Discover Arbon presentation, then you must always use the Arbon Home Office Discover Arbon. You must use all slides of the Arbon Home Office Discover Arbon, and you may not select different slides. You must always cite to earnings.arbon.com, which, like I mentioned, I think in my last video too, that, you know, before they didn't always used to put uh, a little disclaimer at the bottom of all their posts, but now all these consultants are. So I just find it very interesting. It is okay to mention the four levels of Arbonne success plan. It is okay to tell your story, but don't mention any financial achievement, earnings, speed to promote to the next level, etc. The new Discover Arbonne is coming as fast as May 1st, 2020. So um, I haven't gotten any update on that, but as soon as I do, y'all know I'm gonna make a video about it. Here's what they say, outside of Discover Arbon, social media posts, meetings, Zoom calls, whatever, here's the do's and do nots. <clears throat> do not make earning claims. Specifically, do not share numbers or earnings, including within hashtags or pictures. Do not mention speed of success. Do not use words like income, bonus, six figures, financial freedom, Retiring or million dollar in any post. Copy <laughs> images or hashtags. Do not share sales volume posts. Do not mention bonuses, title bonuses, Mercedes Benz cash bonus, etc. Do not use the word bonus. New names or bonuses are coming shortly. So, another loophole. Do not share words like milestone or success achieved through hard work. Oh, it says share words like milestone or success achieved through hard work, which is just a vague blanket term, something that they can get away with, whatever. For trips, it is okay to say you earned the trip, which is a fact, but always cite to earnings.arbon.com. No reference to numbers, income, speed to achievement, etc. per above. Team recognition is recommended. Do not make earnings claims. See above. Acknowledge promotions and share excitement, but do not include earnings or numbers or speed of success. This includes the post, copy, images, or hashtags. 
share words like qualification for the next level of our bond success plans. Products. When sharing information about products, Use only the talking points published by Arbon on the meet the product sheets. Focusing on one person experience is not proven. You should only talk about what is proven and shared on the meet the product sheets, which is exactly what these F what the FTC was sending out letters about because people were making very strict claims and now Arbon has to send out letters like this. So if they never did that, then we wouldn't be here today. Before and after pictures and testimonials are temporarily suspended until new instructions will be communicated. Only use meet the product sheets. Do not make claims or promotions regarding COVID-19, coronavirus, quarantine, pandemic, etc. Yeah, and then it just says right here, always cite earnings at arbon.com and it takes you to the document, the PDF of their income disclosure statement. Um, our business is not an earning opportunity based on sponsoring. It is based on sales you make to clients and preferred clients and building and reaching a team to do the same. So a little interesting. So there's a lot of key points in this thing that are kind of tied to all MLMs words like six figure, like the Mercedes Benz thing. You can't mention, um, bonus financial freedom, you know, million dollar retiring, like all that, which is kind of what companies like Arbon posts were heavily relied on. A lot of independent consultants or independent distributors that I've seen make claims and posts like that, that say literally every single word. So I'm just really curious to see as to what they're going to post now that they can't post stuff like that. It's very interesting because um, Arbon is such a big company too. Like it's been around for like 40 years. Monate, Monat, Monate. I guess it's pronounced Monate, but it just sounds weird. Uh, Monate put out uh, a compliance rules and sent out, I think a letter or they sent out a thing from corporate to all of their distributors and consultants as well. And I have it right here. So compliance rules. Number one, you may be questioned if two market partners reside at the same address. So this is like stuff that you cannot do. Two, spouses are not allowed to be a market partner or a customer. Three, no bulk orders over $800. Now, I think it's interesting that they said that and I will probably make a whole video just about this, but it's really interesting that they said that because like I mentioned before in previous videos, the consultants are the customers. The employees are the customers in these MLMs and with these companies. So it's really interesting that they put that in there because a lot of people like you will see <laughs> people that are in Arbon, Monet, it works, whatever. They buy a bunch of products and you can see that they just like got my package today and it's like a giant thing and it's like four of them. And I'm like, okay, hit, you hit your next rank and level because you bought all of your own products. And so now they're saying you cannot buy more than $800, at least for Monet. I don't know if they did anything like that for Arbon, But anyways, it says your address should not be on any other account besides yours. Your credit card must not be attached to any other account besides your own. You cannot purchase more than $1,000 in a month without permission from corporate. Cause I'm telling you this stuff is expensive too. So, I mean, it would take a lot of product in order for someone to like, you know, pay a thousand dollars a month on Monet stuff. But it's like, how much shampoo do you need? Like they have other stuff. They have like skincare and stuff, but I know like one of their products, I think like a leave-in conditioner or like Rejuva beads that you always see that they're talking about. It's like a hundred dollars, like ninety nine dollars. So it's actually this rejuvenique oil intensive thing that I'm talking about, and it's ninety nine dollars. And it's also the very first thing on the Monet website when you click on the hair tab. So yeah, crazy expensive and super unnecessary. So that'll do it. That'll do it, sir. No posting screenshots of back office widgets. And if you have a number in it, you can't post it. No recruiting numbers, no volume amounts, 
no commission numbers, including debt amounts paid off, which again, a lot of these MLMs always say that too, you know? I mean, you probably have seen it too if you know anyone that's in an MLM, but they'll usually have like a string with like post-its attached or like something on their wall with like different numbers and then it'll be like, they'll like take off the sticky note or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Um, yeah, they'll do something like that or they'll have something with like student loan debt and they'll like cross it off. Now they can't do that anymore at least in Monet. So I just find that very interesting. And we have this last little thing and I got all of this information for Monet from um, Emily Leah. She, I'll have her Instagram linked in the description as well, but she's another anti-MLM YouTuber and I really like her videos. So definitely go subscribe to her. She has a lot of content to watch, but it says <clears throat> from corporate, the business health check and team ranking widgets as well as all other tools, widgets, and reports in the back office were designed to help you monitor your business and recognize your team. Do not screenshot downline volumes and share in private groups or on social media. Do not screenshot downline volumes and position them as revenue. Please do not try to one-up each other with volume or income claims, which I think it's weird, but you guys are all friends. Okay. These claims can be hurtful to the opportunity we all need to support and protect. That's scary. <laughs> They're literally like, Burr. okay. During this time of economic crisis, we all need to be particularly empathetic. We do not support anyone making income claims at this time, but particularly now, as this could insinuate you're taking advantage of people. Our culture is not one of bragging. <laughs> Let's have a moment of silence for all the people that brag. And furthermore, erroneous income claims can and will be flagged by our compliance group. The FTC interprets income claims very broadly as such claims about revenue can be confusing. The FTC would therefore consider volume an income claim, which I said that in another video too. A lot of these people have qualifying volume or like product volume or something volume, I don't know, PV, QVs or whatever. That's what they're talking about you know, right here which I might go into that into another video too. Just a lot of video ideas in my mind. The FTC and our compliance group watch social media and hashtags like millionaire mom and financial freedom <laughs> because that's what they always <laughs> put in every single post, financial freedom. Among many others are not acceptable. Please watch the compliance training and MPA blah, 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 titled look before you leap. You learn about approved ways to talk about your Monet opportunity. Oh, Monat. Monat, whatever. The income disclaimer statement must be visible and readable. If you are not sure that the post is approved under guidelines, better to be safe than sorry. Do not post it. Wow. So I just found it really interesting. And like I said, the FTC is ran by Yi government, Adi Yi soldier, and they are really gonna be cracking down on very specific MLMs because Companies like Monet and Arbonne and I mean, there's a lot, but those ones are like the ones I just hate the most. Beachbody, I really wish Beachbody was on there, but they're not. They are all like the, one of the worst ones, honestly, out there. And it's important that the FTC, that if you see stuff where they're making like false claims or anything that I mentioned in this video, if people are not following the rules, please report it because these people's pages will get down and I don't think that they can become a distributor anymore, which, you know, the less the merrier. So yeah, I think it's really important to, you know, stop sending out false information like this. That's what my whole channel is about. That's what my whole life is about. I don't want to leave anyone misinformed, which is why I always try to have the facts and I have everything linked in the description. But again, I am not the end all be all. So if you want to do your own research and everything, I highly encourage you to do so. But again, income disclosure statements are a very big piece of doing your own research and coming to your own terms with the companies, Arbonne, Monet, it works. Every MLM, you get it. it smells like a pyramid. Thank you guys for watching. Thank y'all for 
watching this short video. I know it's really short, but I just wanted to spew out the information there because I was thinking about it and I know I just needed to keep you guys updated because this stuff is really important and to show that shit like this is happening and that there is hope in the world. There, there really is. <laughs> and if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, do whatever you please. And as always, thanks for watching.